Oh, this is Sean Cody at TexasGunTrust.com. I've got the Flare M24 Recon. This is my 640 by 480 demo unit and the SPI 3X Afocal Magnifier. I've taken these out in the field and tested the FLIR in its native with its native lens and the FLIR with the 3X Afocal Magnifier. The 3X makes a big difference in the usability of this uh, FLIR unit as a spotting instrument. The, um, out in the field, the 3X Afocal does a great job of bringing, you know, letting you identify targets further away than with the native uh, lens. It's really a less than one to one magnification ratio. Uh, one thing is, and I noticed this in the house, uh, around the edges of the focal field with the 3X magnifier, you get some spherical aberrations where straight lines don't appear completely straight. I checked for that when I was walking around the woods yesterday and it was not noticeable. So that's kind of a good thing. I think this is a great addition to the uh, FLIR M24 Recon and WildRiverRanch.net has these for sale. Okay, this is the uh, FLIR M24 Recon unit and it's pretty simple to install the afocal magnifier on this. You just take this ring that comes on the FLIR unit off, a little Allen wrench, loosen it up, it comes off. The mount that comes with the uh, 3X afocal lens has a screw on it. I'm wondering if it's supposed to also have one of these little rings. We'll move this up out of the way. Um, that would fit over it and secure it to the uh, FLIR unit, but uh, this one didn't have one, so I've been running it just with a press-on uh, mount here. You know, engage those teeth. The lens comes in a little tube. Comes out and just screws in. You'll see some of the uh, some of the video tonight. But this is basically, basically it, uh, it's a pretty solid mount. I carried it in the field and used it. And it makes a handy little unit for uh, spotting stuff. Uh, the 3X magnifier definitely makes a big difference, as you'll see on the video. You get a feel for the size of it. And as you can see, it doesn't. Yeah, you know, that is a very tight pressure fit. I would feel better if it had a ring like this that would fit over this part and tighten this uh, pressure adapter to the FLIR unit itself. And I kind of think that there's supposed to be one with it because it, this uh, mount had the this screw on it. And the only thing that would make sense is if this screw went into one of these rings. But... So be it, it works, um, and it makes a big difference, as you'll see in the video. Okay, we're hunting the squirrel, walking out in the woods. Uh, they're about 25 yards away. This is with the 3X. And this is with the 3X zone. And this is with the 3X off. And this is with the th this is with the 3X magnifier on the unit. Okay, we got the 3X on.
Okay, and we'll take the 3X off. Okay, this is with the 3X magnifier off. Okay, I'm going to go to 2X on the unit. There's 2. And we'll go to 4. That's 4. Go back to 1. Okay, this is with the 3X on. This is with uh, digital 2X. And digital 4X. Back to 1. This is with the 3X magnifier installed. the difference. It's the same scene. This is at 4x. You see movement in the woods there. That's back to 1x. You can see movement in the center of your screen. Okay, this is the M24 Recon at native 1x at 100 yards without the 3x. This is the unit itself with the onboard lens. Same unit at 100 yards with the 3x magnifier. And this is digital 2x at 100 yards. And this is 1x, or I'm sorry, 4x at 100 yards. And this is without the 3x magnifier at 200 yards. This is digital 2x and digital 4x at 200 yards. Okay, this is 200 yards with the 3x magnifier. This is digital 2x at 200 and 4x at 200. The uh, two guys come in. That's digital 2x with the 3x magnifier. They're at about 100. And that's 4x. This again is with the 3X magnifier. Okay, you're looking at some uh, cattle that are about 250 yards away. We'll go to 2X. And then we'll go to 4x. Okay, and these are cattle at, they're actually uh, Texas Longhorns at 250 yards. Okay, we'll put, okay, we've installed the 3x afocal. 
and this is at 1x and these cattle are, are about 250 to 300 yards out okay and this is 2x you can see they're laying down this is 4x You may find a rabbit. Come back a little bit. Right there, zoom in. That's a sheep. Those are sheep. That's 300 plus. We'll go to Black Hot. Those are sheep and cattle. One of the right sheep. Those are on the property next to us? Yeah. We're out at the impact zone range. Then we're back to the Longhorns. Horses to the left. Okay. Those are horses, yeah. Yep. This is at 4x. Go back to one. Okay, we're back to the M24 with the native lens at 1x. Shooting with the 3x a focal. This gives you a little more reach than the native lens. Of course, it also cuts it down significantly on your field of view. I'll show you the difference. This is the same view at 1x with the Flare M24 Recon unit handheld. This is the entrance to the impact zone, and you can see the uh, water. That's all water there. You can see the uh, heat sources in the other pasture. If you kick it up to 2x.